Hey guys, CryptoLazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about Graxpert, the free gradient extraction tool that I have presented on the channel before, but I am going to talk about how to get it integrated within PixInsights so you never have to open Graxpert separately, and also some things to be careful about or to or to basically be wary of when you're using Graxpert, especially with the AI mode, and especially when you're using it within PixInsight. So if you don't know, uh, Graxpert is a free tool that is standalone that uh, lets you extract the background, basically remove gradients from astrophotos, and most astrophotos have gradients, which can be due to light pollution, which can be due to moonlight, which can be due to, due to weather, which can be due to the optics. Uh, maybe you forgot to take your flats or your flats are not perfect, so you have gradients remaining, etc, etc. And gradients, like it's almost always the first step that you, you take when you process an image, is you remove that background, those weird une uneven background where you have like one corner much brighter than the other, for instance, that kind of stuff. And I've been using tools within PixInsights uh, very often, like automatic background extraction and dynamic background extraction, which work really well, but they really make it essential that you know what you're doing. Whereas if you're using Graxpert, which is free, you can use the AI mode of Graxpert and then literally remove the, removing the background is clicking one button and maybe adjusting a slider. It really simplifies things, makes things very fast, very easy. The only drawback is that because it's a standalone tool, you have to open up Graxpert, open up the image file in Graxpert, do the processing in Graxpert, save the image file from Graxpert, then open up your processing software, for me it's PixInsight, then open up the file that you saved from Graxpert earlier, and then you are good to go for the rest of the processing. This is far too much work for someone lazy like me. And so it's great that there has been a plugin to PixInsight to basically add or integrate Graxpert directly within PixInsight. Actually, what I think what it's really doing is that it will be uh, calling Graxpert onto your image as kind of like probably command line mode and getting you the uh, output result. Anyway, let's install all of that just so that you see how to install everything. So to get started, obviously you want to download Graxpert. Ideally, you want to download the latest version of Graxpert. The last time I featured it on the channel, I believe it was still a beta version. You had to download files separately from Google Drive. It was a bit messy, but now it's just, you go to the Graxpert website that I am on right now. You choose your OS. They even have Linux, which is a, a win in my book. And then you click on Windows. Um, by the way, the plugin that I'm going to uh, show you today, I'm not sure whether it works on anything else than Windows. Actually, I believe it only works on Windows. So uh, apologies to other OS users. So I have clicked on Windows and immediately it downloaded Graxpert and you can see it here. So now we have, before we integrate Graxpert into PixInsight to launch it at least once. So I am going to click on it and click on run and Graxpert will open itself up. Once Graxpert is up, you can see that the inter interpolation method, I believe by default is AI. If it isn't, you should select, go ahead and select AI here. This might actually download uh, additional files as you do this. Um, so yeah, make sure you have AI there just in case. And you can also do a test run on a, on a random image. Here, I just opened an image of the uh, heart nebula and I can select my smoothing factor. Let's say I want to have like a lot of smoothing in my background gradient. There's not much background gradient in this image, but whatever. And then I can click on calculate background and that's how it would work when you're using Graxpert independently. So it's just download the software, run the software. There's no installation really required. Make sure you have AI selected and load the image click on uh, calculate background after you've done the smoothing and you can compare the original and the processed. There's not a lot of change um, on this particular image because there's very little background to remove. But I'll get back to that in a moment. Now, let's go to PixInsight and see how we can integrate Graxpert into PixInsight so I don't have to launch it independently like that. So I'm going to uh, go to PixInsight and we are going to go to resources then uh, updates and manage repositories. 
And what you want to do is to click on add and then in the URL you put this. So I'll put of course all of the links down in the description as well as links to equipment that I use, uh, that kind of stuff. And you can feel free to go there to use them. Okay, so now we're using, we're adding this repository to PixInsight. I can validate. And then the next step that I need to take is go back to resources updates and now I need to check for updates. This should automatically detect that the new, there's a new plugin to insta install inside PixInsight. And you can see it detected the new repository, the new plugins to add. So I am just going to click on apply. The package was downloaded successfully. I can click on OK. It's not installed immediately. I first need to close PixInsight once. It will uh, tell me, do you want to install the updates? And do you want to restart PixInsight? For, me, for which to me, the answer is yes. And we can see that the uh, as PixInsight restarted, the update process was successful. So now if I go to Script, Toolbox, and then Graxpert, or at least we should have this option now if everything went well, and we do, and uh, you can open it. And the first thing that you'll want to do is to click on the uh, wrench icon here to basically select the graxpert.exec file that we downloaded earlier from the graxpert website. So for me, it's in my downloads folder. It's probably better to put it somewhere else because I very often clean up in my download folder. Uh, so you could like first copy it into your PixInsight folder or put it into a documents folder or something like that. So once you've put Graxpert in a proper folder that you know you're not gonna delete anytime soon, you can click on the wrench icon and this will open up an Explorer window like here where you can select the executable that we downloaded earlier and that you put in a relevant folder. And then we can click on open and now the Graxpert script is ready to go. You have to do that only once. Now we are ready to go. So let's open a couple of images and test the script on them. And here are two images that I opened up. Uh, one on the right is M101, which was taken with my uh, C6 Hyperstar, which I actually dropped recently and broke the corrector plate, so rip. Uh, and the other is the uh, Heart Nebula here on the left, which we saw in Graxpert earlier. Uh, the Heart Nebula doesn't have much of a gradient, and the M101 Galaxy does have a really uh, nice... Uh, nice gradient there and we're going to play with both. The um, image from the Heart Nebula was taken with the my Altair uh, HA03 narrowband filter together with my uh, Quattro 150p Newtonian telescope and the Tobtech IMX585 camera. Um, which by the way currently has some issues in the HDR mode so I am using it in the high conversion gain mode. Uh, I have uh, reached out to Tobtech and they're looking into the, uh, the HDR issues. And on the right we have the C6 Hyperstar image and that was taken with an IMX571 uh, sensor camera from Tobtech again. Uh, again all links in the description. And so this is an APS-C size sensor. Let's run Graxpert on both. So I will go to Script, Toolbox, Graxpert, and we can select the image that I want to uh, process. So for now, I'm gonna do M101. And you can see, you can choose your correction, which I would suggest to keep to subtraction basically all the time. But you can also choose the smoothing ratio. Uh, I don't really like, and it was the same when I opened up uh, Graxpert, I don't really like that it's at zero because when you put it at zero, it's actually going to have like to support very sharp changes in gradient, which can actually destroy a little bit of the details in your image or actually remove some contrast from your image from the actual targets. So that's not really nice. This is the one parameter that you want to be careful with. Uh, so we're going to try smoothing of one because you can see if I look at my image on the right, I don't see any sharp gradients. I see a very progressive gradient across the image. And so I believe that Graxpert should be fine with uh, a smoothing, like a large amount of, of smoothing on the background. So I am going to validate this. And now you can see that it's actually launching Graxpert, but kind of in the background. So it's launching Graxpert, feeding the image data to it, have Graxpert process it, and then pulling back the processed data into PixInsight. And we are getting the uh, result here. So this is the uh, before, sorry, uh, with the uh, with a control click on this uh, uh, stretch. And then this is, again, control click, the after. 
you can see that the background is very well taken care of. I don't see any big issues there at all. Now let's do the same thing for this one that probably doesn't need that much of a background extraction, but we can, uh, you know, go ahead and check it out. So again, script, uh, Graxpert, and we're going to choose the, uh, this image. And again, the smoothing, I will put it to one to make sure that in theory, I don't remove details from my actual target, right? So this is something to be wary of. It's not the only thing to be wary of I'm getting there. Uh, so let's apply it. So here we have it, and uh, this is like uh, the uh, before and after. Doesn't make much of a difference on the face of it, it looks fine, right? And this is where I kind of wish the uh, scripts did something more. I, I hope the script would also import the actual background that was subtracted from the image so we can actually double check it. Because let's go back to this Heart Nebula image. And let's go back to it within Graxpert. Earlier in this video, we processed it, right? We basically removed the background gradient. So let's look at the actual background. I don't like what I see here because we can see there's been some background removed, but this is an area that has a lot of oxygen three. So there will be naturally some blue in there. And if we look at the background, there is some blue that has been subtracted. It's not a lot. It's probably not going to have too much of an impact on my final image. And if we go back and use the default smoothing of zero, which I think a lot of people would do without like, you know, thinking about it, let's try to calculate the background. And now the result is done. And if we go back to look at the background, then it's far worse because I can almost see some structure in here. So I feel like, especially with this default setting of zero, the background extraction was too aggressive. But looking at the original and the processed image, I really wouldn't know about it. Like to me, it looks like the contrast is better around here because of the background extraction. So it's very important to be able to double check the actual background that was extracted. And we're not able to do that with that PixInsight script. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go back to the original image. I'm going to run the script again, but with the default smoothing of zero. And I've arranged it so we have the before image on the left, the after image on the right. And everything looks fine. Just looking at the after image, everything looks fine. I wouldn't know that my background extraction was probably too aggressive. What one thing that we could do is I can rename this image like uh, after and this image before. And after I've re renamed those images uh, before and after, we can do before minus after and uh, create that as a new image here in pixel mass and uh, apply this. And I'm going to do a control control click on that as a, as a stretch. But even then, like we can see that there's something going on here a bit too much, right? But we don't see as much detail in terms of the background that was extracted compared to what I can see directly in Graxpert. So I really hope that uh, the writer, the, the person who wrote those, that script could make uh, an enhancement so we could also import the background as a new image so we can double check what we're doing, especially if the default setting is going to be a smoothing of zero. And to be fair, most of the time it should not be an issue. So if I go back to this M101 image and I do it directly inside Graxpert and I look at the background, despite having processed this with a smoothing of zero, the background is very regular. The AI did its job wonderfully in this case. It did not try to remove the background of the galaxy itself. So we are good here. But it is a reminder that we are relying on AI here and it's been trained on images and maybe the types of image that you take might not fit the AI model. So this is really something to keep in mind. And this is why, especially if you're dealing with AI, being able to double check exactly what the AI did is very important. And that's why I really want that plugin in PixInsight to be showing us the actual background that was extracted. 
And that's something that I usually don't worry about if, I, if I'm using automatic background extraction in PixInsight because automatic background extraction, I can control the function order and I know that it's going to be a smooth function. And dynamic background extraction, I'm the one actually selecting the points that I want as background reference. So I have control from the get-go. AI background extraction, I have no control whatsoever. So I need to trust but verify. And right now with this integration into PixInsight, we can't really verify easily. So for me, when I'm using Graxpert, even with this integration, I'll actually keep using it as a standalone tool until we're able to check the background much more easily with the integration. So fingers crossed that it happens. What are your thoughts on this? Are you using Graxpert? And if not, will you be using it? Let us know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. While you're going there, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really, truly helps the channel out. And if you want to be like a superstar supporter of the channel, you can use any of my affiliate links below. So if you want to buy anything on Amazon for, for Christmas, for instance, if you use my affiliate link, I'll have a commission of that and it helps the channel out a lot and if you want to go even more superstar you can become a patreon supporter or a channel member you guys truly make a huge difference and read the channel wouldn't be possible without you but enough about all of this because the most important is to not to forget to look up at the stars and i'll see you next time